Okay, guys, welcome back. Okay, so I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, what's that one thing? That one thing that if you change is going to bring more change to your life. What's that one thing that you need to do as soon as possible, tomorrow if possible, that one thing that you need to start doing that is going to make the change or it's going to start that whole shift that you want? Um, I don't know, like, uh, make that phone call, send that email out, uh, call that partner of yours. Has it got to do with your relationship with body weight, um, personal relationships, uh, work? What is it? There's usually one thing, one thing that just changes everything. And that one thing that needs to be done, we're getting closer to the end of the year. And that's when we usually start the new year's resolution. Let's leave it for the New Year's. Let's do this for the New Year's. Let's do that for the New Year's. And then we just want to go and change a million things in the New Year's. And we usually end up doing it for a week or two weeks or three weeks or maybe even a month. And usually it backfires. The point is to find your why. Why do you want to do it? Why do you want to make that change? That one thing that you will change, how radically will your life change because of that one thing? Is it going to be your relationships? Is it going to be your health, your energy, um, your finances? What is it going to be? Because that one thing may actually be the key to your whole future, to the changes that you want in your future. So find your why and make it compelling. The vision that you have for the future, that thing that you want, has to be so compelling that when you think about it, the only thing you want to do is work towards it. So you have to know your why. You have to know why it's so important to you. I'll give you an example. Like with finances, most people that have things that they need to deal with with their finances and they're kind of slacking off and they're not making so much of an effort. Why? Because they don't know their why. The thing is that when you want to fix your finances and you know that you've got to work a bit harder, it may not be a lot. It may just be small things that you're just neglecting or you're not paying attention to. And you make them sound like big things that need to be done when really they're not. It's just a matter of sitting your ass down and getting things done. The thing is that if you don't, if your why isn't compelling enough, so if you haven't actually sat down and thought, okay, if I get this on track and I am earning X amount of money per month, then my life will be so different. I'll be able to treat my kids to a million things. I'll be able to take them where they want to go, feed them what I want to feed them, buy them what I want to buy them. I'll be able to travel for myself. I'll be able to offer my husband uh, X, Y, Z. I'll be able to um, help people in need more. I'll be able to make a difference in this world. If your why is not clear and not compelling enough, you're going to get bored. And it doesn't matter if it's a New Year's resolution and it doesn't matter if it's a goal and it doesn't matter if it's on your to-do list. It won't get done. You'll be doing it for a while and you'll hate the fact that you're actually working towards it. So if it's about your finances, you're going to hate the fact that you're working a bit later. You're going to hate the fact that you're putting more hours in. If it's about your weight, you're going to hate the fact that you feel that you're not eating what you want to eat and that you're not getting to where you want to get. But if your why is so compelling that you want more energy, you want to be more alive, you want to be able to be radiant and healthy and have no more pain and no more bad news from doctors and you want to be able to do different stuff with your kids that you've never done before and you want to just offer them and yourself so much more beyond the lifestyle that you can imagine and believe, then your why becomes compelling and you want to work to it towards that more and more every day. But write it down, make that list and put it somewhere where you can see it. I recently did this with someone that I knew that was um, that really wanted to quit smoking and I remember she had stuck it on her fridge because she wanted to remember all the reasons that she wanted to stop smoking. She knew why she wanted to do it because she enjoyed it and she just felt that she was, you know, more uh, lively and uh, more fun when she smoked. But she had it up on her fridge and she could see that she didn't want to stink like hell anymore. She didn't want to feel that her lungs were getting 
uh, black every day uh, more and more. She didn't want to keep thinking about her health and what would happen if that moment came that she was diagnosed with cancer. And she would read these things every time she'd go to the fridge and that kind of reinforced why she didn't want to smoke anymore. And sooner or later, that was the only thing she cared about. Every time she had a second thought, she would go to her fridge and read that note. And then she was like, it was clear again. It was so clear why I didn't want to do it. So don't wait for December. Don't wait for January. Don't wait anymore. Just go out and find your why. What is that one thing that is going to make the difference that will bring more change? I say it really often. Small changes can bring huge shifts in your life. Sorry, small steps can bring huge shifts in your life. I'm leaving you guys with that. Have a great day. I love you. Bye.